and welcome to The Spark. Um, Angie here to show you how to create a tiki necklace out of a old vine cork. Um, so here's my little example. See my fun little guy? And it's not real difficult, but um, I'll give you a little tutorial on how to do it. Let's get started. So here are my supplies for this project. And they're pretty basic. You're gonna definitely want the cork, and that's the main part of the necklace. And then you can see here, I have a little screw eye that will just go into the cork. And I've got some beads, as well as some Mod Podge glue. Um, you could use Elmer's glue as well, although it's not as uh, permanent a stick. So we like to use Mod Podge here at the library. And then I have crayons or Sharpie markers in order to color my little tiki template here. Um, as well as some string that I can string the necklace on. Um, and scissors to cut out my tiki image. So pretty basic stuff. You can use the crayons because they're wax. The glue will not make the color smear. Um, but if you want to use markers, use Sharpies because Crayola markers or anything else washable will smudge and then your tiki guy won't look that great. Um, but yeah, those are the supplies. So the first task that you need to do is to take your cork and decide which end you want to put your little screw eye into. And, you know, you could use, the, if it's a used wine cork, there might be a little color staining on the top and you might say, hey, I like that, I wanna see that. Or you might say, no, I want the plain end. Um, it's really up to you. You may also have the markings from like the corkscrew originally. And so that might affect your decision on where you put your screw eye. But I'm gonna go ahead and stick it right in the top of the wine colored part because I kind of like that coloring and it's neat to see um, that I recycle the cork and it's pretty sharp and cork is pretty you know flexible so all you have to do is just screw it right in it's not very difficult at all until you feel satisfied with the tightness and that it's not going to pull out when you hang it from your string and then, so you've got the basic part ready to go. So then the next part is to um, pick out your tiki mask, which one you would like to use. And um, I've already colored one ahead of time so that I'm ready to go, but I chose this little guy. And in my example, I left you can see this border here, the rectangular border. I left that on in my original example, but I think this time I'm gonna actually cut out the whole face because I wanna see more of the cork. So I'm gonna cut out his face right along the black lines here. And like I said, if you're using markers, make sure they're permanent markers, um, otherwise, like Crayola crayons work really well um, but washable stuff is going to smear because we're going to use glue to adhere it to the cork um, and then your guy won't look as nice. You could also use permanent markers and just draw a tiki face right on the cork if you're feeling extra creative or I've even seen some examples where people carve the cork with like a knife or something. Um, you can totally do that too, just depends on how adventurous you're feeling. <laughs> Um, so I've got my little guy cut out here, and he's going to get glued on right onto the cork there. So the next step of the project is to use a little glue to adhere it to the cork. Now if you're having trouble holding it on, you can always put like a really small piece of tape on the back or like double-sided tape would work too um, to help hold your face on there 
while the glue kind of helps it stick. But I find it's best to use like a foam brush um, and a little bit of glue or even just an old like little paint brush. Don't need a lot. Um, but you want to coat the surface of your cork wherever you're going to put your paper. If you decide to wrap the whole thing or if you're just doing the face. Um, get that, get a good thin layer, not too much. And wrap it, wrap it on there and then as you wrap it, you kind of need to smooth it out with your thumb. Um, Mod Podge is washable. Mod Podge, <laughs> hard to say, is, um, you know, pretty non-toxic. Obviously, I don't recommend you eat it, but um, it's a water-based sealer, so it's okay to get a little on your fingers. Um, but once I have it pressed on there pretty tight and I've rubbed out all the wrinkles of the paper, then I'm going to kind of hold the ends and go right over the top of the Tiki Guy again. It's a little hard to see, but you can see I have a layer and I'm what I'm doing is I'm sealing it onto the cork, which is, you know, this type of glue is good for that. People use it to seal puzzles and other things. Um, so it works well to uh, seal paper like this. And this is just regular printer paper with a little tiki image on there. Um, if you were drawing with Sharpie marker straight onto the cork, you don't have to seal it, but you could um, just give it a little more protection. If like, say you think you're gonna go to a pool party sometime and you wanna make little tiki necklaces for everyone, or maybe you, you know, want to make wine glass charms and you decide to use an old cork. Um, really, you can do just by anything. I'm gonna put a little bit on the top here because I want to seal the paper from the top as well. But remember, not a lot. You just wanna brush it on real lightly, real thin layers, um, because too much is gonna give you weird wrinkles and kinda of get blobby. So, <laughs> um, but it's all sealed and now you just need to set it somewhere to dry for a while. Um, you know, depending on the temperature and humidity, it might take about 30 minutes. Um, could dry faster on a warm day. And as it's drying, I kind of like to like check on it, make sure that the seal hasn't come loose at all. And you know, if you're looking for a quicker way to make these, you don't have to use the glue. You could definitely just get like some clear packing tape. Um, cut it to be the size of the cork and then wrap it around real gently um, to make it look nice. That works as well. So after your little uh, tiki charm is dry, you want to just take your string and you can use any string, you know, any chain, whatever you want to use. This is a, a natural um, type of twine that's dyed a color. Um, but you can just string it through your screw eye there and, you know, cut the length of long enough, however long you want it to be. Um, but then I have some colorful little beads here. I've got little like tropical flowers because that reminds me of tiki stuff. And then these ones kind of look like, um, remind me of coconuts or, you know, some kind of Polynesian. <laughs> Theme to them and so I'm just gonna string them right on my string here to uh, give the necklace a little bit more fun and flair um, really not difficult at all some people will use like a large wooden bead to string both strings through at the same time for the center of the necklace to keep the um, it from sliding back and forth um, you can certainly do that. Go ahead and be creative, be inventive. It's really a very open-ended project. You can do whatever you like. Um, but I'm just stringing my beads on here. And fun fact, 
if you don't know, tiki images come from Polynesia, so like Easter Islands, and obviously we think of Hawaii when we think of tiki um, culture, but um, actually the first tiki bar for, for adults uh, was established in Los Angeles in 1934 by someone named Don the Beachcomber. So he went to Polynesia and really liked the relaxed atmosphere and the way people kind of just chilled. And he decided to bring that back to America and he started a trend. And so now there's tiki bars. And I guess in the 1970s that kind of went down when disco was a thing. Um, but then they came back in popularity in the 1980s. So here's my little put the beads on and you can see my little tea guy there and the fun little beads. And like I said, you can get as creative as you want. I can make this string as long or as short as I want. I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it off for now. But there you have it. Really simple way to recycle an old wine cork. Um, kind of fun too. And you know, if you're having a party someday when we can all get together again, you should definitely, you know, make little party favors for your friends. So I hope you all enjoyed making these little tiki cork guys. Um, and that we get to gather in the spark again soon. If you're interested in another project, the next one we have is gonna be this really cool um, keychain made out of an old baseball. You just use parts of a baseball to make a cool keychain, and that will be on July 7th, um, the Tuesday after 4th of July. So we'll be, you know, making a keychain for an all American sport. <laughs> Um, but until next time, I hope you guys have a great evening and have fun crafting. Bye.